y'all let Megan McCain get away with everything. Why? Why? Megan McCarran, why the hell she get away with everything? Why? Y'all, this chick is so bitter. She's literally the only host on The View that I can even think of within the tw past 25 year history that gets away with not participating in segments. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click that bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Y'all appreciate it if you subscribe and click the bell. Patreon.com forward slash JOA, JOA. No, I don't have Cash App. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Maybe. I don't know. Patreon.com. Don't ask me about other foolishness. Patreon. I appreciate it, but Patreon, all right? Icebreaker question. Do you think you can get away with not participating in your own job description and still have that job? No, right? Well, she got privilege. Y'all, watch this woman be just so bitter on The View, and I'm going to come back with some more. Here, in varying states of lockdown, people have picked up some good and some bad habits, apparently. And the Washington Post had an article about taking stock in which ones you should keep and which ones you should lose. Uh, where are you at with all of this, Sarah? So I'm going to keep my new habit of cooking. I had wanted to do it for years, but this pandemic forced my wooden spoon. And now I am actually feel like a domestic goddess because I cook. Um, it actually feels really empowering. But then the negative thing would be mostly maxes. I think when you're working remotely, I'm in the studio, so I'm able to come into work and leave work. I think the lines have been skewed even more than just with technology with this pandemic because work is home and home is work. So I think getting off devices, uh, is something that we're gonna have to break as we come back to normal. Right, uh, Joy, any habits you, you wanna keep or break or are you happy? You know something, I think that habits are very circumstantial. So, you know, like, like all of a sudden Sarah's become a gourmet cook. She'll be back to microwaving and pizza in two seconds because we all will revert back to It was back lean cuisine, Joy. <laughs> Believe me, Sarah, I know uh, the only thing is you don't have another kid, but as far as the cooking. <laughs> if Bridgerton you know comes I mean? back, it's we're like having another baby. So right now I'm, Sonny, I'm really I'm working out a little. Oh. I do my little dance. I do my I do my nuns. I listen to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which I love. You know, I'm I, I'm doing things. When I go back, I'm right. going to be the same. Okay. I'm going to be after the show. I'm going to go to lunch with my friends and shoot my right. mouth off. <laughs> I know myself. Right, Sunny. How about you? How, how, what's your, what are, what are your what do's and don'ts, keeps I'm, and tosses? I mean, I would like to keep on just dressing um, from the top up fancy and then I just like, like slippers ah. and, and like sweatpants. Like, can yeah, I keep that habit right. in yes. the studio? I, I would like yeah. that habit. Yeah. That's about it for me. What about you, Megan? What you Same keep and what you toss in? Same as Sunny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. right. Well, all right. Here we are. She couldn't even ask Tammy Duckworth yesterday the question about race and gender and if that should qualify somebody who getting a job. Instead, she asked about maternity leave when she only knew the definition and only agreed on maternity leave when she had her baby, okay? And so something is definitely wrong with this girl on The View. She has yet to apologize publicly. Instead of writing that BS apology on Twitter once she got called out on it and saying that she apologized for her rhetoric, saying that Trump calling the coronavirus, the China virus is effective. We don't want you. We don't want you to apologize on Twitter. We want you to apologize on the, on the view because you started that BS on the view a year ago. We want you to finish it by apologizing on the same platform. Because there's a huge difference in mediumship when it comes to Twitter and when it comes to t television, okay? Like, television is still bigger than social media, and we need you to have that same affectation in your apology that you did when you, when you said that racial slur about the Asian community a year ago. I really don't know what's wrong with this chick. I actually, you know what? I have a heart, so I, I like to say that I feel bad for her. She's clearly weak-minded inside. And she just put, puts on this facade that she's a strong-minded woman. When in reality, she has a look. 
I ain't one of them social media people that, that can type anything on social media about Megan McCain or whatnot, but then when they're on camera, they want to be shy, all right? I'm the same way throughout, and I'm telling y'all, this heifer here needs to um, acknowledge the hate that she said about the Asian community because I'm tired. Look, I don't know if her husband not digging her down, okay? I don't know if Paul Ryan didn't give her on the sideline. I don't know what's going on, but it's obviously that she's in a bad mood. She thinks that the liberal media... Is, is so obsessed with her marriage. She had a tweet about that once. And, okay, you know, I guess you can call it obsessed because, you know, she know we've been digging. But at the same time, she wants to keep it hidden that her husband ain't the conservative man that she claims him to be. You know that report? Remember that report uh, a year or so ago when she said conservative men are the best men to be married to? Well, baby, her husband maybe preach conservative values, but he is the totally opposite and hypocritical when it comes to the actual values of conservatism. Y'all been telling me to, to spell the tea, to spell the information. I did tweet the executive producer to Brian Fader that I'm going to expose her marriage. The next day on The View, she said that her and her husband shared credit cards. Y'all, this woman never, ever talks about her husband. So she watches YouTube, okay? She, like, she, 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 why I, I saw a clip one time of her watching um a live stream on YouTube. So she knows she blocked me on Twitter and so does her husband blocked me as well. So she knows who I am. Barry Wise, the woman that stank, know who I am as well. And so I don't know if they told her some ish behind the scenes, but we as viewers, we don't know that. Okay. We need an actual apology from this woman. And she's she's weak as hell. She tries to to make this positioning of herself as this strong woman that nothing's affects her. The other day she lied. She told Sarah Haynes that she don't block people on Twitter. She mutes them. Girl, stop lying. You ain't muting nobody. You blocking. You block my ass. You block every single person. Each time when somebody searches your name on Twitter, somebody always say either with a check mark or without a check mark that you block them. So don't sit here and say you mute uh People on Twitter, don't sit here and say that you don't get offended and you're not a snowflake. Don't sit here and say that race and gender shouldn't be a qualification when you get the job because it's identity politics when you were a whole claim to to being where you are now on the views because of what? Identity politics. Your father who graduated last in his class, who literally got to where he got to in the army because of his father. So the nepotism followed, it followed, baby. It, it followed to him and it followed to you and it's going to follow to your daughter. And I hate for coming for kids, but I'm just going to call it spade a spade. And so we need an actual apology from this chick. She's definitely insecure. She definitely self-projects. And to even think of why she married a husband that she married when his history is horrible. Like, why would you as a new married woman, as someone that didn't have any marriage under their belt, marry somebody with a lot of baggage? OK, like, I don't know how he hypnotized you. I don't know if he used black witchcraft, black voodoo, black magic. I don't know what it is. But the reason is and it has to be at least the reason that I have got for now is because you're insecure. She's insecure. You know, she needs somebody. She kind of reminds me of Wendy in a way. She's trying to hide her marriage. She don't want people to know about her husband when when literally her husband is 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 easy grabs compared to Wendy's husband because he's behind the scenes and your husband's trying to be in front of the scenes using you for that, you know, with his new job at Fox News. But anyways, y'all pray for that girl. Pray for her rich people problems. I, ain't, I you know what? I don't feel sorry for her. I don't. She rich. So is her mistress mother, Mr. Cindy McCain. Anyways, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell. Patreon.com forward slash J-O-A, J-O-A. Please share this video with your friends. Please like or dislike. Please read me for filth in the comments or don't read me for filth. Y'all been doing it. The reading, the dragging me for filth for like a whole two weeks now. I don't care, but whatever. Deuces. Yay.